125 July 2000. Flight 4590 was a charter flight from Paris to New York City. The aircraft was an Air France Concorde, registration number F-BTSC. Most of the passengers were German tourists on their way to board a Caribbean-bound cruise ship in New York City. At approximately 4.43 pm, the plane began its takeoff from Charles de Gaulle Airport, Paris. However, as it accelerated down the runway, ground observers noticed a fire on the left side under the wing. The aircraft veered left on the runway, and at about the time it left the ground, one of the two left side engines failed. The pilot was unable to climb higher than about 200 feet and at about 90 seconds after the commencement of takeoff, the other left side engine failed. At this point, the aircraft dropped from the sky and crashed into a small hotel and restaurant in suburban Gonesse. All on board, 100 passengers and 9 crew members died. In addition, 4 people on the ground perished and six others suffered injuries. Air France grounded its remaining Concords immediately. British Airways, the only other operator of the aircraft, followed suit in August. Both airlines resumed services in November 2001. But less than two years after that, all Concorde services ceased permanently. A French government investigation into the crash later determined that the Concorde ran over a strip of metal on the runway, causing a fire to blow out. A large fragment of rubber then struck a fuel tank on the underside of the left wing. The impact most likely led the completely full tank to rupture from within. The spilling fuel quickly ignited, probably from an electrical arc in the landing gear wiring, and the fire caused the engines to fail. The strip of metal on the runway was found to be a jet engine part that had fallen from a Continental Airlines DC-10. In the course of its own takeoff, a few minutes ahead of the Concorde, the engine part had recently been replaced in routine maintenance. The mechanic who did the work used a strip made of an alloy with 90% titanium content, not stainless steel, as specified by the manufacturer of the engine. Captain Christian Marty, 54 years old, who had been with Air France since 1967. He had 13,477 hours of flight time, including 317 hours on the Concorde. The first officer, Jean Marcotte, 50 years old, who had been with Air France since 1971 and had 10,000 hours of flight time. Flight engineer Gilles Jardinaut, 58 years old, who had been with Air France since 1968, he had 12,532 hours of flight time, of which 937 of them were with Concorde aircraft. Air traffic controller Gilles Logelain noticed the flames before the Concorde was airborne and informed the flight crew. However, the aircraft had passed V1 speed, at which point takeoff is considered unsafe to abort. The plane didn't gain enough airspeed with the three remaining engines, as damage to the landing gear bay door prevented the retraction of the undercarriage. The aircraft was unable to climb or accelerate, and its speed decayed during the course of its brief flight. The fire caused damage to the inner 11 of left wing and it began to disintegrate, melted by the extremely high temperatures. Engine number 1 surged again, but this time failed to recover, and the right wing lifted from the asymmetrical thrust, banging the aircraft to over 100 degrees. The crew reduced the power of engine 3 and 4 in an attempt to level the aircraft, but they lost control due to failing airspeed and the aircraft stalled crashing into a hotel. A video of the burning airplane on takeoff and the aftermath of the crash was captured by a passing driver. The crew was trying to divert to nearby Paris Lee Bourget Airport, but accident investigators stated that a safe landing would have been highly unlikely given the aircraft's flight path. 
The cockpit voice recorder recorded the last intelligible words in the cockpit. After the investigations, the BEA concluded that the aircraft was overloaded by 810 kilograms about the maximum safe takeoff weight. After reaching takeoff speed, the tire of the number 2 wheel was cut by a metal strip lying on the runway, which had fallen from the thrust reverser call door of the number 3 engine of a Continental Airlines DC-10 that had taken off from the same runway 5 minutes previously. The aircraft was airworthy and the crew were qualified. The landing gear that later failed to retract had not shown serious problem in the past. Despite the crew being trained and certified, no plan existed for the simultaneous failure of two engines on the runway as it was considered highly unlikely. Aborting the takeoff would have led to a high-speed runway excursion and collapse of the landing gear which also would have caused the aircraft to crash. While two of the engines had problems and one of them was shut down, the damage to the plane's structure was so severe that the crash would have been inevitable even with the engines operating normally. Until the crash, Concorde had been considered among the world's safest aeroplanes. The crash contributed to the end of the aircraft's career.